Opening with an almost acoustic, slightly distorted, quiet guitar being strum, you might reach for the volume dial only to have the music blow up a moment later as aggressive distortion guitars burst in with groovy, fresh energy and a seasoning of polyrhythmic goodness. Void through materialism have made their mark on my channel. The Void added to Asuma given the username was taken and I was listening to this band in search of one. They are a French band from Paris born out of a one-man band project that started back in 2001. How I discovered them is still foggy in my mind but despite next to no success in terms of exposure I adored them. At a time when online distribution was in its infancy any free music was a gem to find and since then I've always gone back to this band. Void's inception and identity comes just before the progressive metal sound took its current direction. With the Dejunk guitar tone and Meshuggah time signature influences, they reside in a space where groove metal and metalcore had noticeable influences on their crunchy guitar chugging sound. Between slamming the low notes on singular strings, the band has many power chord driven riffs, something Meshuggah dropped after Destroy Arrays Improve 10 years earlier, something fans of the band do comment on missing. With a sensibility for good grooves, guitar chugging and power chord ringing, the band's brains Chini accents it all with a great melodic guitar lead that counterparts the otherwise mechanical, metallic, sometimes industrial sound that pummels away. In good fashion, the songs take on conventional song structures with room for expansive moments in the longer cuts. The title track Converge loops its killer riff at the 4 minute mark for a spatial guitar lead to elude us of a conventional solo as its deep reverb and indifference to the crunching polymorphic riff beneath have it wandering its way towards the void, forever meandering without conclusion other than the rigid cut at the end of the track. The music is fantastic, its production is both a flaw and a strength for me. The drum kit from hell is obvious and overall it could do with a little more polish and clarity but it's far from harmful. Its charm is the DIY aspect. There is passion within this music and the necessary means have been found to connect us to it. Another aspect of mixed results is vocalist R who has a unique and polarizing style with a forceful, disjointed, unconventional approach that steers clear of normality at every turn. Having known each song inside out, with Chini doing his best for vocals, I initially disliked the change but over time it's grown on me out of familiarity. One thing I do like is the obscure growls and cryptic murmurings that fill the silence between sung or spoken words. His performance certainly has character. As much as I adore this record, I can't be too generous, it is just a 4 track EP or 5 with the bonus song and much of my love for Converge comes from the demo album that came before it. I know the songs inside out due to my fanatical listening of their demos back in my youth and so it holds a special place and a good feeling with me. For the average listener I'm not sure if they would get that from it. I do however think with a fair few listens much of what I can hear would come across. There are a lot of strong grooving time signature oriented riffs at work here. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to see some more of my music blogs, go check the website out. Every page is over a thousand articles sorted by artist, year, genre and more. Just hit Control F and have a search for something that interests you. You can find a link to the blog in the description box down below, where you'll also find links to my other YouTube channels. Check them out if you are curious. Thanks again for watching and be sure to subscribe to catch the next upload.